It's been so long. We haven't. How have you been? How is your life? Oh, you're working? Good for you. Oh, you make you make so much money. Oh my gosh, a hundred grand a year. Good for you. Me? Oh, you know, I am just, you know, really finding myself. This is an example of every conversation I have with every person I haven't seen in a long time. Excuse, excuse this, this hair. I've got the like shaggy faggy hair going on and I hate it. So I'm getting a haircut tomorrow and it'll be nice and cleaner and better. And yes, so. This week I want to talk about something that I'm sure everybody has been talking about and that is the Olympics. I have been obsessively watching the Olympics since they've aired, including the opening ceremony. And here is my Olympic summary thus far. The first thing I want to discuss is the opening ceremony and particularly the children in hospital beds hallucinating about Voldemort, and then Mary Poppins coming in and killing him. A few things. First of all, the comment that I found out was made by, I believe, for, if my source is correct, the comment that was made by Katie Couric when she said, these children don't look sick to me. First of all, Katie, they are not really sick children. They are actors playing sick children. Second, oh, look who's here. It's my cat. Say Ophelia. Her name is Ophelia. Ophelia. Say hi. Say this. Look. Look at this. Look at this. Say hi. Say hi, I'm a cat. Look at me. I have, everybody has dogs, but I have cats. Oh. Alright. So, yeah, so Katie Couric said this about these children, and it was the most hilariously inappropriate comment I've heard so far. Um, I... I don't know what possessed her to say it, because first of all, it was for, I believe, some sort of an organization to help children in hospitals. So, pretty insensitive. Secondly, clearly they weren't actually the sick children, because the sick children are being sick in hospitals, Katie. They're not at the Olympics dancing around a 50-foot statue float of Voldemort and, like, you know, having fake nightmares. That's not... They, their nightmares are very real, and you're rotten. Then there's another point where I was watching men's volleyball and the announcer kept referring to the man on this particular team as having swagger. Now, swagger to me is something possessed by a rare few. I'm not quite sure how swagger pertains to volleyball. I mean, I can't differentiate somebody having swagger when they play volleyball versus somebody not unless it's in a Step Up movie, and then I could probably tell because they're probably doing hip hop routines in the middle of playing volleyball. I know everyone's going nuts about Tom Daly, the swimmer, the British swimmer, but did anyone see Danelle Leva? I mean, I think that's how you say his name. Danelle Leva can lay all over me whenever he wants. He has swagger. I watched his interview, and he has a very strange father, but he has he has swagger because he was talking, and you could tell Ryan Seacrest wanted to jump over the table and sit on his face. I mean, he's Cuban, he's got the big lips, he's got the nice body, he's like 5'7", I'm 5'8", so we'd be perfect. Tom Daly looks like a sprite, like a little baby sprightly fairy garden creature. He would come out of the woods and he would have messy hair and leaves growing on his arms. And he would say, oh, I'm from the world of magical gardens and I am here to grant you wishes, but only if you help me save the unicorn king from the evil witch. I don't know. Oh, also the Russian gymnast tonight, like, she messed up on her routine on the on the beam and went to walk off the platform and her coach went to like grab her high five her and she like swatted him away and i was like good for you i don't know i thought i thought it was cute i think they should have given her an extra like you know hundredth of a point or thousandth of a point for for being a 
really pissed and I'm kind of a bitch. That's all. I'll see you guys later. Bye. <sighs>